Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, Luis. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. You will not believe, as now the first lady, Madame Rachel Ruto, is coming out to request for forgiveness on behalf of their government and on behalf of William Samoye Ruto. As I was listening to her, she's now coming out to say that you Kenyans, you should forgive them because they have failed to build roads. Forgive them. They have failed to build hospitals and of course strengthen the health system. She is requesting for forgiveness because they have failed to fight corruption. She is requesting for forgiveness on behalf, on behalf of William Ruto because they have fa failed to honor God because through prayers, that is how she's claiming they, they had this power. But I want to ask a simple question. As they are requesting for forgiveness, did they forgive regarding Gashagwa? That is the question. Even now, Madam Rachel Ruto wants Kenyans to forgive them. Did they accept the uh, forgiveness that Rigali Gashagwa requested the other day? I, I, I think Madam Rachel Ruto is trying to play a game that we do understand of 2027. I want you to listen to Madam Rachel Ruto. But before we do that, as you always do, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder. As you watch, ensure you like the video. Let us listen to Madam Rachel Ruto. Mimi ni kisimama hapa kama mtumishi wa Mungu ningependa waomba msamaha. Mambo mengi pengine watu wanasema serikali wangefanya hivi, serikali wangefanya hivyo na pengine tumeanguka. Tulipiga magoti pale na tukasema kwamba tutaongoza serikali na pengine hatujafanya hivyo bila mlikuwa mnatarajia. Mimi nikisimama hapa siku ya leo nasema kwamba tafadhali tusamehe. Kama kuna jambo tumefanya, kama kuna jambo tumetamka na tunaomba kwamba Mungu atusaidie hata katika the next dispensation Mungu atatusaidia maana yale yote ambayo hata tumeweza kufanya Mtu hangeweza kufanya kwa uwezo wake. Mambo hambaya haya kufanyika miaka amsini tangu Kenya ishike uhuru. Ni mungu tu ambaya lituwezesha kufanya hivo. Na pengine tu na kulet down. Hatu kufanya vilo luko unatarajia. Pengine muna sema kwamba serikali ingefanya hivi. Tumesikia imejenga barabara kule. Mbona waje jenga. Mbona waje fanya hii policy kutusaidia. Mimi nikisimama hapa siku ya leo. Nasema kwamba mtu same. Na mungu wa tusaidie katika siku za usoni hivi tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja na tunajua kwamba ushindi wote unatoka kwa mungu. Nataka kuambia kwamba tunawapenda, president wetu anawapenda, our first lady anawapenda, deputy president anawapenda, najua kwamba wanawashugulikia usiku na mchana. Na muna pombea nchi yetu ya Kenya, kapadali mweza kusema majina yao bele za mungu. Maana sio raisi kuongoza watu milioni arubaina tano. Mwashike nikono kama vile Musa alishikwa nikono na aron na uhu wakati walikuwa katika vita. Musipo tushika mkono, musipo shika wa president nikono na kumweka juu ilaweza kushinda hii vita, ilaweza kuwa mungu. Na naita kanisa. Ili tuweze kufanya hivyo kumshika wa president mikono ili aweze kupata hata nafasi ya kucheka apate nafasi ya kulala vizuri na pia Mungu aweze kumtembelea So that is what Madam Rachel Ruto is coming out to say at a time that Kenyans are so hard on their neck When they were being sworn in the office we were told that this government is a government of God. They are anointed people. 
And again, when how regard Gashia was mishandled, even regard Gashia requested for forgiveness, he was not forgiven. Why should we forgive when them they are on revenge? They have left the interest of the people, and they are now fighting on their own interest. Sometimes I wonder how William Ruto and Madame Rich Ruto, they usually take us. They are taking us for granted. And that is why they have realized that to play with the minds of Kenyans, are, of course, it is so easy to book them with lies so that they can understand that Madame Rachel Ruto is remorseful. For what? If, when you look at those young men and women that were killed during the demonstration of Gen Z's, their families are just compensated. They are just requesting for forgiveness. Kupanguza yani ile machozi a crocodile. We are not going to tolerate that. In fact, if it was possible, this government should be ata ingekua imekikiwa out mapema lewa subui. Because surely they don't understand anything, Kenyans. They don't understand anything. I'm telling you this. They don't understand anything. But because they are taking us for granted and they know it is easier to fool Kenyans, they will continue doing so. If Madam Rachel Ruto wants us to forgive William Ruto and his government, then they must also forgive regarding Ashagwa. The way they are claiming they are human beings, also regarding Ashagwa is a human being. Yes. Let them, re let them bring back regarding Ashagwa. And then I hear Murimayake. Because you cannot tell us, one, you are so remorseful, you want for forgiveness. At the end of the day, what you are doing is extra mile to what you you want us to forgive you. These people told us they're going to strengthen the health system. They're going to strengthen the education system. They're going to assist the transportation system. It's going to be strong. And that is why when I see Madam Rachel Ruto, Ruto playing with our minds, it is a high time Kenyans we understand the language these people are bringing on board. I've seen some people celebrating that William Ruto has cancelled the Adani. But I want to ask you, is cancellation of Adani going to bring us food on the table? Because we are just fighting that this corruption must come to an end because some individuals were bribed so that Adani should be given this tender or this deal. We expected William Ruto to speak about the economy. We expected William Ruto to insist about this femicide. To come to an end. But today, they are telling us, forgive us. Because we don't know what we are doing. But we are telling them, we are not forgiving you. The time is for you to pack and go. Simple and clear. You have failed to serve this country. Beyond our expectations, now you are coming out to tell us that you are so remorseful. No way. No way, Kenyans. No way. This is the time to show William Ruto that power belongs to the people. Then power does not belong to them. And that is why I told you, we are having very confused members of parliament. You just imagine today, and they are sitting pretty, having standing ovation to William Ruto because he has cancelled their dining. Who is stupid? It is them who are showing us how they are so illiterate. Some individuals, even they should, they could have retired from parliament. So the time is now to show them. We are not going to tolerate you. We are going to excuse you beyond your nose. That is what we are going to do. You know? And that is why they are fearing the young generation to take over. Because they are going to be squeezed. For example, myself, if I'm, I'm going to be given any leadership, 
I will not accept someone to come out and play with the Kenyan resources. Ne kufinya na kufinya Magufuli way. And that is why Magufuli of Tanzania left, of course, history. He was coming out to say, Kama wewe ulipewa e tender na ufanyi kazi, toka. Alikuwa nafukuza watu live on camera. Tanzania ile panda vizuri kabisa. And that is the kind of leadership we want in this country. We are not going to play around massaging some individuals eh, because they want to eat in the name of the offices they are occupying. This is the time to show these individuals to go home. Because they are failing. I told you here, I'm so disappointed with this 13th, 13th parliament. And sometimes I usually ask myself, it will come to an end when? I'm so embarrassed. Even some leaders wamekua tangu wata sijazali, wamekua leadership, and the source useless. I'm sorry to say that, but they are useless. Beyond our expectations. This is not what we expected. If members of parliament are serving their own interest, let us know early so that we can send them home. And of course, they have proven they are, they are of course, selling the interest of William Ruto. And that is why the other day, some ODM blogs came out trying to sweet talk us that now William Ruto is the Messiah. William Ruto is angel. Hmm? William Ruto is now the Almighty God. The time is to show this individual that what you are trying to to force us to, we are going, we are not going to be there. Because you know you are going to fail these positions, and now you are going muna jipendekeza mbele ya ruto, ili ruto akisha haiba apite, muna taa kupewa CSS, muna taa kupewa PSS, muna enda nyumbani na ruto yenyu wote, muanze kupanga virago. We are not going to be convinced in any way, the time is for William Ruto, with his taka taka yote, wa enda nyumbani. That is where we are, and that is our stand. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? I think sometimes, I say some Thing that some individuals are also thinking what I'm thinking about. And so, with like-minded Kenyans, we are going to send William Ruto home. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.